My name is David Lawrence. Uh, I'm a retro shelter artist. I specialize in all mediums and all subjects. So I do native art, I do abstract, I do portraits. I mean, I do it all. I'm the baby of eight. All of my brothers and sisters are talented. And my mom and dad ran the uh, cultural center in Hugo. Grew up in Hugo, went to high school. And then my father, when I graduated, my father wanted me to attend uh, Bacon College in Muskogee to study Indian art because we didn't know that much about our culture, just what was in the history books. And then I remember being a kid and having this extraordinary talent. The teachers would call my parents and tell them, you know, he can't do this. He has to color the little pictures and do this. And I would flip them over and draw my own. Right now, all I'm concentrating on is the native stuff. My father, it's a great inspiration. Like there's a picture of my dad when making baskets and stuff and everything. So that's my inspiration. Cause I always wanted to make my parents proud. And then my dad always told me, he goes, just do what you love, you know, and just keep at it, you know, and he said, we'll back you or support you in whatever decisions you make. I read in the newspaper where they had picked certain artists and did certain paintings for the, like the casinos and the other stuff. And my sister, Dora, had seen the, the work they had done in the casino. And she's like, you should try to put your art in there. So I started making phone calls and I contacted um, Sheila Curvin. That's how it all started. You know, I did the Heritage Day in Durant, and then we did the, there was an art show at Wheelock Academy, we did that. My paintings have heart and soul. Um, a lot of them you can look in their eyes and tell. My one art teacher told me you can tell a good portrait by if you, when you hang it up on the wall, um, no matter where you stand in the room, the eyes are looking at you. But I really put a lot of emphasis on the eyes. You'll notice it in my new piece that I'm doing. My favorite medium right now is co the coffee because you can use it like watercolor. I mean, and it's, it's amazing. It'll actually change over time. Like this is just done in just coffee and it was like a reddish brown. Art is art is art, you know, and it doesn't matter, you know, if I draw a, a chief with a headdress or do this, I'll keep them, you know, within their tribal stuff or whatever, but I mean, I paint and I draw, and I believe that we were all one tribe. That's how we, we all need to come together and band together, you know, and show people that we're proud. You don't, because you have like some tribes that are more proud of other, their heritage, that we should all be a proud uh, tribe. All be really, really thankful that we can pass these traits on down you know, and the gifts and everything. Be proud of your artwork. Be proud of your what tribe you're from. It doesn't matter, you know. We all just need to band together.